What was supposed to be the best day of our lives, getting married, turned into a total nightmare. Five weeks before the wedding, my fiance Ian said that he wanted a prenup signed or he wouldn't marry me. Behind my back, Ian and his dad went to a financial planner to get some legal advice. Ian gave me an ultimatum to sign the prenup or we were not gonna get married. I understand that you took advice from your father, but you're not marrying your father. No. You're marrying her. I have to tell you, this prenup is not your problem. You have trust issues with her. You think she's got a party lifestyle. Yes. And sometimes uh -huh. you don't come home. That is true. I do drink. When Melissa drinks, she can drink to excess. Is this one of these family camping? We went to a music. Hey. That's a funnel, right? So you can get it in quicker? That's true. <laughs> and how did this happen? It was dark and I missed a step and I fell and a bottle went through my hand. That could have happened sober though. That was just a tumble. <laughs> On a family day. camping trip. <laughs> I want a prenuptial agreement just in case Melissa does something irresponsible. I would like to set up premarital counseling. Great. Okay. And then Put this marriage back on the calendar, and I think you can have a prenuptial agreement in a very limited fashion here. I also want to arrange a trainer and a nutritionist. Yeah. So you can get yourself really in good shape and feel good about who you are. Thanks, Dr. Fred. I'm gonna give you a copy of my book, 2020 Diet. Book. Well, it's not a paperweight, you need to read it. Fair enough? Thanks, fair enough. All right. Thank you. One year and 80 pounds later, a lot has changed. This is Mel before. All right, Mel, come on out. Terrific. 80 pounds lighter, Dr. 80 Phil. pounds lighter. Yeah. He told me to stop using it as a paperweight. So yeah. the moment I got home from LA, I got it out of my closet and I just started reading it chapter for chapter. And I followed the lists, the menus, and the weight just started falling off. Yeah. All right. How did it go for you when you started reading the book? The first five days are critical. The phase one, um, I just followed it step by step. And like it says in there, Anyone can do anything for five days. So that's why I just kept playing your voice back in my head. Anyone can do anything for five days. Right. After the first five days, it's all easy sailing from there. During that five days, you detox from the other white powder, which is sugar. Yeah. And uh, you get where the salt has gone away from you. I mean, you get all of these things that you actually kind of become addicted and dependent on. It's amazing how fast you get them out of your system, right? Yeah, and then actually when you start eating bad food, it, they taste bad. So when Mel lost 80 pounds, it translated into losing 63 inches off of her body. 63 inches. I have a measuring tape. We can see exactly what losing five feet and two and a half inches looks like. Oh. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five feet. That's five feet, two and a half inches right there. 62 <laughs> inches. There you go. That's what came off of your body. Wow. Can you imagine that? I can't. You know, yeah. seeing myself on your stage when I got home and watched the episode, I could hardly believe that I looked like that. Like, I, didn't, I did not acknowledge that I looked that bad. So it was a real wake-up yeah. call to me. There are so many pitfalls to weight management, self-sabotage, masquerading as celebration. You know, we always say, oh, I've worked really hard, so I want to go out, let's go celebrate and eat two cakes. That's not celebrate, you're erasing all the work that you've done. Uh, and fixed fat beliefs. I mean, we have these beliefs that we can't do it, that this kind of result is for somebody else. Failure to self-monitor, you've got to pay attention to what you're doing. And then there's acute stress or crisis, I mean, Sometimes we think if we're in some kind of crisis, all rules are suspended. And then you've got those stealthy saboteurs. They'd rather you just go eat a pizza with them because <laughs> then they don't feel so bad if you'll just do it with them, right? That's true. 